everyone, it's your girl, Brianna Blair, better known as Bay Charles, the exotic blind dancer. And I've been kicking it today with my boy, Anthony Parker on the Third Eye Vision. That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to another edition of Third Eye Visions. It's another collaboration with Jennifer's Open Book. My name is Anthony Parker, and on the other end, I have my sidekick this morning, this evening, I'm sorry, uh, Jennifer. Uh, Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. And, and we have Jennifer's special... Open Book, where we don't believe in filter. And we're definitely going to stimulate your mind tonight because we're going to be talking about foreplay, which is doing it in the dark, oh. another addition, which is foreplay. And we have a special guest. Uh, I want to, before I go further, introduce our guest. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, share. You all have been taking the comments, uh, like if you like these types of videos, comment on it if you are a uh, person who loves some foreplay because we all do because if not we wouldn't be discussing it and uh jennifer do you want to give your um tagline do everything you said <laughs> well this, like, I've, done, this, I've done everything that Please i've said comment. um yeah do everything that he said well it took, and, five, yeah. it took five seconds out of your life because you said you told me to do everything that I had to say. But anyway, how you been doing with them? I feel like you're trying to start with me before we even get started. Well, you want to get for this? You, you love you, the foreplay, right? You like the foreplay, right? You ready for this? I, I love foreplay. Okay. Well, I want to say uh, that the guest, her camera is going to be turned off. You're not going to see her for uh, specific reasons that uh, I won't go into, but you'll be able to hear her voice and she'll be able to give her voice on foreplay. So with that being said, Jennifer, why don't you introduce our guest? Our guest today is Miss Candy. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Miss Candy. Well, what it is, what happened was, everybody, I've always wanted a threesome. Oh. And this is the closest that I'm actually going to get to one. So I have Miss Candy and Miss Candy. <laughs> And we about to go into. Mm -hmm. Well, threesome you want, threesome you gonna get. So before I go into that briefly, uh, have you ever done a threesome before, guest? <laughs> wow, that's invasive. <laughs> Actually, I have. Okay, what about you, Jennifer? No, not my thing. Not your thing. Okay, well, since none of that is your thing, then why don't you tell us how do you get to your thing by giving us a little. Uh, uh, understanding of what you consider for a play. Go ahead. Okay, so first of all, um, for those of you who don't know this, and if you don't know this, you probably are too young to be watching this video right now. But for play is something that you do to work up to sex. For play can be anything as long as it gets you in the mood. So, um, foreplay can be something physical or mental or emotional and i'm just going to give you an example of um mental foreplay and something that actually doesn't require you touching so um i made inadvertently a playlist with somebody not too long ago and it was just like we were sending each other songs back and forth like texting each other these different songs and the songs were like really sexy songs. And to me that qualified as foreplay because those songs got me all hot and bothered and I'm pretty sure it did the same thing for him. Or foreplay can be something physical like oral sex. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. <laughs> okay, well, before you go deep into your, your oral sex, <laughs> uh, Candy, why don't you tell us what qualifies foreplay for you? Mm, okay, so it, 
I'm gonna say I don't have a set rules or a set um, collection of like tasks that I do for oral play. I, I, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I want that emotional connection first. Sometimes it's nice to go out to dinner and and um, get connected via conversation first and maybe some touching um you know public displays of affection out at dinner and then to come home and then set the tone um at home with some soft music and i like incense and um quiet space turn on do not disturb on the phone see all of these are examples <laughs> of foreplay and it's foreplay without it necessarily being yeah like the stuff that you describe it doesn't have to necessarily be um like just going right into sex you have something like like you mentioned going out to dinner that could be some people don't consider that those people probably are men. But for some people, it's, that is exciting. Shoot, you ask me to go out to dinner, I'd be like, "Whoa, you get on the night, bro." <laughs> <You know? laughs> let, let me backtrack. Let me backtrack and cover uh, what she stated about it. Probably is a man. Hell yeah! In this, case, <laughs> I don't believe in. I mean, I'll do that, but that's on. That only comes after I get to know know that particular person before play for me for me somebody you shouldn't even be having sex with somebody that you don't know well if you let me finish what for play is for me and somebody for for uh uh that i'm being real with you for the first time of course you know as as grown people we do have it to, we we have had somebody in our lives that we met for the first time and and and, and have if we we both agreed we did what we had to do but with, with foreplay for me it's touching it's feeling and 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 again like like you stated earlier the oral sex and i want to go back to you and uh talk to you about that oral sex though because that's part of the foreplay can you continue i mean what more can you say about it it's going down on somebody i mean do you need to know how to do it no I not really video we covered, <laughs> we, we covered that i mean we we, we covered it but uh what, 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 what about the what have you ever met anybody from the like for the first time and you all both y'all have yeah. uh, you know really went into you know the fact that you are gonna have sex later on instead of because I understand the going out eating all this other stuff but let's so talk like, about it's like a, a one night thing yeah both of y'all I, I haven't ha I'm, I'm not saying I haven't had like a one night thing but I didn't go into it thinking that it was gonna be like that there was some work up to that it's all, like for me I don't want to talk about it I'm well, I'm very spontaneous and I like to have fun. And if it's gonna go into that, it's because we worked up to that. We we usually not it's not some something where I just met somebody. They we are usually out somewhere. They have to take me out or something. I'm one of those kind of people. I'm not gonna say hello to you and then drop my jaws. We have to get in the mood to that. But it might be like a first date or something like that. And that first date go well enough for that to happen for me. Okay. So, I mean, Candy. it, it can work like that, but no, not just meeting somebody. What about you, Candy? She talking about dropping drawers already. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think it's every, of course, everybody has their own flavor, right? So, um, for me, going out to dinner and that kind of, that kind of mood, would usually be with somebody that I have a relationship with that I already have emotions with um, and I mean if I just met a person maybe I could go out to dinner with them too um, but I'm not opposed to having sex on the first date and it, and usually before you set up the date you have you know conversated on the phone and you you've gotten to know them to where you you are interested and you probably are attracted so um it's not really like you just meet them face to face and then drop your jaws it's like you know you have already established established some sort of connection and right. then and then you know but it depends i i also enjoy having sex with strangers um i'm i'm not gonna be i'm not ashamed 
that's that's my flavor and that's what I like. So is that a form of foreplay for you though? It could be. The fact that a lot of times, stra- yeah. The fact that yeah. they're a stranger makes it exciting. And I yeah. Can, yeah. I can see that. Also, and I mentioned well, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but um so I like strip clubs. I don't go often. As a matter of fact, it's been years since the last time I've been to one. But when I say I like strip clubs, I mean, I don't mind going to the strip club with my man. If I'm in a relationship with somebody, I know a lot of women, they don't like for their men to go to a strip club. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of those females. I'll go with you and I won't just go with you. I'll pay for you a lap dance. Mm -hmm. And this is a form of foreplay to me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like going to the strip club is a form of foreplay to me. We ain't taking none of them home. You know what I mean? But it's getting started. Yeah. So, so when you say that, uh, what's the exciting part? It's the exciting part that that maybe somebody that you are providing a way for your man to get pleasure by another woman. Is that exciting? I or? think that that's what's exciting to me. I'm mm-hmm. not like I said. I'm not interested in females. Mm-hmm. Um, like I'm not. A, I'm not attracted to females as far as relationships go or anything like that. But I am a female and I know that females are beautiful. We have beautiful bodies, we're curvy, Mm -hmm. we're soft. So I can appreciate the fact that a female is beautiful, Um, but like not to like be with them or anything. It's just like, oh, she's cute. Um, You know, do you want to get a lap dance from her? You know what I mean? Like if, Mm -hmm. if, if you can get, and that's all. And and my thing about it, I don't have any insecurities as far as that go, because like yeah, said, some women could not, be jealous of that. Yeah, like I said, we're not taking them home. It's not mm-hmm. home. You know what I mean? You're not getting her number. You're coming home with me. She just getting the party started, but I'm the finish. Well, let me <laughs> let me squeeze in and ask you all both a question. Is uh, and y'all can either one of y'all can ask answer, answer first. Is sport play necessary? And yes, while getting to Absolutely. uh. Positive, yes, I cannot stand the dude who trying to just go in and ain't got you all. Like, there are things that happen. There's a chemistry with foreplay. There's something that happens to your body when you are experiencing foreplay. You cannot just go in and, I mean, people can and people have done it, but it's not comfortable. What about you, Candy? <laughs> I think, you know, when you first, when you first hook up with somebody, um, is really exciting and sometimes um, in, in my experience for I forget the foreplay I just want to get down right now <laughs> but here's the thing but, though whatever happened in in that case could still be considered a person's conversation be, can be considered yeah foreplay. that's that's true you yeah up there talking about just any old thing and then you feeling this person like that yes and it's getting, I agree like I said, the, the definition of foreplay is that it's getting you prepared for intercourse. It doesn't necessarily have to be something physical. Somebody's conversation can get you there. But when I'm in a relationship with someone and maybe we've been together for a while, you know, you got to work a little bit harder. And I, I try to teach my, my man, you know, women don't, don't get aroused as quickly as as men do sometimes and and you gotta you got i'm sorry but you gotta work you gotta work to to you you know i'm ready when, when you feel the wetness <laughs> so as I, as I jump in here and say and say because it's hard to get in between these two two females but i'm enjoying the threesome me personally a foreplay that, 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 I, I'm gonna have to agree. Uh, at one point with Ken, like if you're in a relationship, you, have, you know, yeah, that's necessary. But for me, I mean, I'm more so of the, the excitement comes from me actually just get just, just going to the goods and uh, you know, handling my business and whatnot. But that's, the ex- that's the excitement for you, but you have right. to think for two people when you're doing it. So it's absolutely necessary to answer your question. It's necessary. It doesn't necessarily have to be you touching her, but doing the right thing just to getting her excited. Like I said, some people's conversations get you there. But I always say this when we do these, uh, when we do these 
video, be doing it in the dark videos. You need to know your partner and know what gets them there and you need to know what turns them on and turns them off because you can say something to your partner and it will turn them completely off and you think that you being sexy. <laughs> so That's why it's communication to know that person. Honest communication in a relationship, especially when sex is involved, is important. And another point I want to make is that women and men are different when it comes to sex. That's that's basically what we've been saying, is that women connect emotionally a lot of times. Um, and men can just, they can be on in like three seconds. And that's just, we're built different. And that's why I, I want to um, comment on Jennifer's point about uh, foreplay is necessary. I think it depends on the person because there are some females out there who feel that that I must just say this that it ain't necessary. They just want to get call in the, and get on the that, phone. I want to know. That it, that it ain't, that, <laughs> but remember, <laughs> but remember, it's it could be that that stranger experience thing where you have already been talking on the phone and then you get together. Boom! Yeah, you can. It, it can be exciting. Like because I said, they didn't got you excited already on the first the first time you talked to them. Because the you've already been talking you know, to them. Yeah. You, and they're you know, looking forward to getting together. And it brings me back to my point about foreplay not only being physical. Well, let me say this. Let me play devil's advocate. What about people who could uh, who could see and they make that eye contact? And then they immediately, you know, handle their business after some point in time because that could be stimulating. Okay. Well, that's yeah, that that's 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 I don't have any experience with looking at anybody's eyes. Well, but yeah, yeah look, but what, <laughs> here's what we do have. We have the good smell that you mentioned last time. Right. The that's voice, true. the Again, nice, sexy voice. Well, all of that is foreplay. All yeah, that it could be. Foreplay. Yeah, it could be considered foreplay. The conversation, you know, the, the manner that they're handling their their uh their flow of conversation Ooh. and why y'all talking about like just meeting somebody um not saying that i ever have but i mean i walked past the guy who opened up the door and said um here you go beautiful in this really deep voice while wearing it's the <laughs> and i wanted to jump his bones oh you know i mean i didn't really, oh I was that type of person. but i'm saying i understand i understand like meeting somebody and automatically feeling that much so uh -huh. yeah I, I can i can see that but again uh cologne a good smell the nice voice, the fact that they open up a door or something like that. Again, all of that stuff is considered foreplay. And the point that I'm making, the point that I'm making in this video today is that just about anything can act as it, as foreplay. It's about what turns you on. And that's what I want to uh, really uh, uh, comment on is, is the fact that you all more so you, Jennifer, have taught me something today because I, I really, I, I'm not dumbfounded, but all those different things that you stated, I never looked at them as being a part of foreplay. But as I sat back and listened to you all, it definitely could be that that that, that, that part because I was so used to uh, of actually doing the more physical touching. Once I get that person in the room, you know, I do a little foreplay, what have you. Uh, but I never looked at them in that, in that capacity. What about you, Karen? Well, it, the foreplay that you know that's that's the emotional connection that um, that women need to have, um, you know, before they make that physical connection. Well, I'm not gonna say all women. I mean, but physically, we are built that way. Women are more emotional, and men are more physical. And um, um, there was one thing that I wanted to say as a side note. Oh. When you were saying um, a guy opened a door for you with a deep voice, smelling a certain way, and calling you beautiful, you know another piece of that that also can turn you on is that he saw you, right? Us yes. as blind folks, a lot of times people don't see us. A lot um, of times people right? don't see us. Or Should don't want to see us. I, I actually did something. I, I talked about that when, uh, It was a video a little way back uh, entitled You're Not Invisible and I mm -hmm. want to talk more on that one day and I think I'm going to get you to come on there and talk mm -hmm. about that but mm -hmm. um, we were talking about that before because a lot of times we feel we can't see but we feel like nobody else sees us so mm -hmm. when somebody sees us and not just see us but compliment us we can kind yeah. of 
takes us back a little bit like oh he said i was pretty mm-hmm. <laughs> so you get all little girl mm-hmm. <laughs> well, let and that make your whole day well, let me ask you this before you see is that emotion that let me ask you this before you get to you all get too emotionally connected <laughs> me um do y'all think i know y'all probably haven't been with a female but do y'all think that the foreplay for a female with female is the same as a female and a guy since you are more emotionally attached i have no experience with females so i'm gonna make kids take this <laughs> <laughs> well i have experience well i i'm gonna say i have one full experience with a woman it was actually a threesome and um we again we had been building up to it we had we had been sending nasty texts to each other and um mostly like clowning around but also flirty very sexual and um so when we did get together we had a little drink and it was on and so we got together and then later on the guy came over but my question to to you is what was sorry i got lost in in, in memory right. yeah. <laughs> so my question to you what is, was the question <laughs> <laughs> jennifer do you remember the question oh. do do women need foreplay like men do wait what did you say do uh, women the foreplay, the foreplay with the woman <laughs> was it the same that the, as, as it was for a male in terms of getting getting you all both to where y'all need to be uh because because considering the fact that you are a more of an emotional type person did it take this i think i think it kind of turned into a a stranger a stranger um you know adventure with like with a man it's about the same thing because we had been anticipating being together um so i don't know i guess i answered your question so let me because we recording so let me ask you this the foreplay that it took to get to, to for a man to get uh aroused and, 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 and you all have men don't really need foreplay <laughs> Was it the same that it that it had taken for the female to get aroused and get you know get started? I'm not, and I really don't get the question. Yeah, I don't get it either. <laughs> I don't. Get the you, okay, okay. You know how you all are more emotional, and it takes your it, it takes time to to, to to get to that point. Right. Okay. Right. Now, if you if you with a female, it was the time that basically the same, or was it extra long, or was it emotion? Was it more? You know, like she said, men don't really. You don't have to do that much to a man. Okay. Yeah, and then and then being with a woman is very similar to being with a strange man. It's very exciting. I think it'd be about the same because I we were this girl, this woman, and I were friends, but we had never been together physically. So when we and I had never been with a woman before, so that was really exciting. Just that right there that that idea of doing that was exciting right right. so but if we were in a relationship just like straight folks if we were in a relationship i think it would be about the same in the beginning it would be exciting and then you know you would have to work harder later basically the same my ex-boyfriend by making a turkey dinner he got excited about a turkey leg do you hear me and what was you doing with the turkey leg? I did nothing with the turkey leg. <laughs> All I did was cook the food. And he told me that it was turning him on. And I didn't believe him. And he showed me. It was nothing but turkey. It was like turkey and greens and cornbread. And he was really excited. About it. What I, what I, I, I mean, can like say. Different stuff turns people on. <laughs> what I, I thought that was like the weirdest thing. Yeah. What I want to say that maybe this is what was happening is. So, and and this is a little bit on the psychology side. Um, In relationships, people have what's called a love language. Have you heard of that? I've heard of it. So, so you have something that if your partner in a relationship does it for you, it really makes you feel loved. And some people, it's um, service. So, I'm going to guess that because you cooked that meal for him, that that was part of his love language and that's why it turned him on that was that was an emotional thing for him so 
That makes sense. Well,